Having a best friend is great. You have so much in common and can share so many memorable moments together. Yet, when things go wrong, it is the absolute worst thing in the world. Hi, I'm Mary, and this is the story of how my friendship of 30 years with Lisa completely changed after she scored the high paying job she always wanted. You see, Lisa and I were friends since middle school, all the way through to college and getting our first jobs. I thought we'd be friends forever. We would often get our hair and nails done together, go to happy hour on Fridays, and just share our lives with each other in spite of the fact that we had completely different career paths. All that would soon change for what felt like the worst. On one Friday, Lisa called me, very eager to meet up. She said she had some news she wanted to share, so we should go out for drinks later. Of course, I said yes. We decided to meet up at our favorite cafe. When we finally got together around seven that evening, Lisa announced that she got the promotion she had always wanted. She was now second in command to the president of her company and was now officially a C-suite executive. She couldn't be happier, and I was ecstatic for her. We spent the rest of the night celebrating before turning in for the weekend when we would go get our hair and nails done as we always did. Our routine continued for the next couple of weeks until it was suddenly different. At first, Lisa had to work overtime and longer hours, and we couldn't hang out as much outside of work hours. I understood this as she had just gotten a major promotion and needed to pay more attention to proving herself and doing a great job. So I didn't mind too much. Still, I was not prepared for what happened next. It was soon time again for our monthly routine hair and nail salon check-in, as it was the one thing we kept up even after Lisa's promotion. So, as I usually do, I got up that Saturday morning, made my breakfast, and called Lisa to let her know I was about to start getting ready so we can head to our appointment. I called, but got no answer. I found it strange, but didn't think too much of it. I decided to go ahead and have my shower and keep my phone with me in the bathroom in case she saw the missed call and decided to call me back while I was getting ready. Lisa did call back just as I was getting out of the shower. I greeted her with the same level of excitement and jokingly asked her if she overslept again. To my surprise, she said she didn't oversleep, but that she would not make it to our usual hair and nail date today. I asked why not, thinking perhaps she was ill or something. Lisa said she was fine, but she was overseas and would be doing her hair over there. Apparently, she decided last minute after leaving the office late last night to book the red eye to the Caribbean to enjoy a spa treatment and get her hair and nails done, and that this would be her new routine from now on to style her hair and get her haircuts. She ended by saying she will pay for the appointment that we had initially scheduled and that I should still go, and she would see me when she gets back. To say I was disappointed was an understatement. On one hand, it's great that she now had the money to take trips overseas whenever she felt like it for something as simple as a haircut and pampering. However, I couldn't help but feel somewhat slighted by her lack of consideration for our friendship and common courtesy. I truly don't mind that now my rich friend goes out of the country just to have a haircut. Perhaps she could have kept our appointment for one last hurrah and then go overseas. Maybe then I would not have felt so blindsided, especially considering that I understood things were different for her now and was supportive of the same. To watch more animated story videos like this, hit that subscribe button and tell in the comment section what you thought about this story.